Hello YouTube, Vlogonerix Rants here, and this week my rant is about the almost certain defeat of a gay marriage plebiscite. If you don't know about what I'm talking about, I will leave an annotation and a link in the description to my other video, The Plebiscite on Same-Sex Marriage is Moronic. So watch that first, then come back here and watch this video. So firstly, I'm going to show you why the plebiscite on same-sex marriage is doomed to fail in the Senate. Um, and I'm going to do that with the makeup of the Australian Senate. There are 76 seats in the Senate. So you divide 76 by 2, you get 38. And you need uh, half of the numbers plus 1 to pass your legislation. The magic number is 39. So, in order for same-sex marriage plebiscites to occur, the coalition would need 39 senators to support it. Already, we know that Labor and the Greens are both opposed to it, to the plebiscite. So immediately, that is 35 senators that are opposed. So all we need are four more senators to defeat the legislation for the plebiscite. Guess what? We have 39 senators on the side of those against the plebiscite. In addition to the Labor Party and the Greens, the Nick Xenophon team with their three senators and Darren Hinch of the Darren Hinch's Justice Party also oppose the plebiscite on same-sex marriage. The opposed have hit the magic 39. That means this bill for the plebiscite will fail in the Senate. This is great news. The only reason the plebiscite on same-sex marriage is even being considered is to satisfy the theocratic right of the Liberal Party and the right wing of the Labour Party. It is a massively expensive waste of time, it will be hurtful to a lot of people, and would also be extremely one-sided because the theocratic right can call upon the super-rich theocrats in the United States of America to pump millions of dollars into the anti-same-sex marriage campaign. Now the money saved from the removal of the plebiscite on same-sex marriage can be used through a royal commission into the banking sector. The other senators, Pauline Hanson's One Nation, I'm going to be honest, I'm leaning towards them being pro-plebiscite, but as Darren Hinch has proven, don't judge a politician by where they lie on the left-right divide, so I'm not 100% sure. Family First, being a Christian party, is anti-same-sex marriage, but then I don't actually know if they're pro or anti-plebiscite, but probably pro because they want it to fail. I'm fairly sure Jackie Lambie and her Jackie Lambie network is anti-plebiscite, judging by her rhetoric recently. And finally, the Liberal Democrats. And again, I don't know where the Liberal Democrats senator lies on this issue. So, the plebiscite is doomed. I recommend either a conscience vote on same-sex marriage, or if you want to measure the public support for same-sex marriage, according to one poll, it's currently at 56%, go to a referendum. Ah, oh, well, sucks to be you right now, Liberal Party and theocratic right. Anyway, that is my video for today. I hope it was interesting. I've got a couple of links in the description to back up a couple of what I said. Please rate, comment, share and subscribe and have a great day everyone.